Yo guys, what's going on? It's me, KLV, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the Wisp build. Now, on my top 5 Warframe video, I realized that I haven't done a Wisp helmet build, so this is my Wisp helmet build. Now, the ability that we have put on is a shooting gallery. Now, we have swapped shooting gallery for her basically like a damage ability that where she does that massive beam. And I don't really use that ability anyway, so I decided to put a shooting gallery. So this is the build that we did use. Now the reason why we did choose shooting gallery for a bit of crowd control, and it is very nice to use. Very very nice to have. As her whole kit now is just really really good. Uh, her whole kit was good, but just her last ability, her fourth ability, wasn't as good as it didn't really do too much damage to be honest. And Wisp, in my opinion, is not really a damage frame. She's more for survivability in my opinion. So that's why I went with shooting gallery. Now. For the aura, we've got aiming radar. Again, personal preference, have whatever aura you want on. So if, for example, if you want something else on, for example, corrosive projection, or you could form a force steel charge, it's just completely up to you. I prefer having enemy radar on, it's just personal preference. So next we have a prime continuity for some duration, because we like to have duration for our reservoirs and for our shooting gallery. So we do need duration, we have a 43 second point five uh, duration on our shooting gallery and we have a nice amount of duration of 43.5 seconds on our vitality, haste and shock room. So a very nice amount of duration. So we don't need any more duration than that unless you have a max prime continuity. I'm just two off so it don't really matter. Prime flow for energy, really simple on that. Blind rage, again I use this blind rage instead of a maxed one so our efficiency doesn't go all the way down. So if you see here with the max one we get to 75% without losing without using fleeting expertise and we don't want to use fleeting expertise because we don't want to lose duration so I prefer using this one if you do have a max one it's alright you can put a max one on or you could put like an umbral intensifier or whatever or put a whole umbral mod on but it's alright then we've got vitality for health we've got streamline for efficiency because our blind rage makes it goes down we have got org of reach for the range and also for the uh, energy spent on abilities to convert to shield it was very nice now we mainly use this for our uh, Willow Wisp, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So next, we have got a stretch for more range because we want to have a nice amount of range. And next, we have overextended for more range because we need a just basically a lot of range for our shooting gallery. And we want our wisps, our our third ability, our breach surge, and our reservoirs to have a nice amount of range, so we don't have to keep going to a really tiny circle to get our buffs. We want to be able to just hop in every now and then without going right into it. So. This build basically just range for shooting gallery, uh, breach surge, and for our reservoirs. So now what I was on about about the auger mods is Willow Wisp. So now this takes literally like not even a second to activate. It's like a stone's malt. It takes literally like no time to actually activate. And I always just double tap this so I can go in vulnerable. So I'll be vulnerable for three seconds. And it's very good, especially for hard mode. Going in vulnerable is very nice because it gives you that time to heal up and everything. So that's very, very nice. Also, when you do start losing health, you have that organ mod on there. So you can just instantly get your shield back and start regaining your health and regaining shield. So that's very nice to have. So basically it makes it really hard for you to die. With the Arcanes, we have Arcane Fury and Arcane Energize. Arcane Fury is just personal preference because I want to try and do as much damage as I want with my Chronum Prime as I believe that they have been nerfed. I, I've not been doing as much damage as normal with them. I feel like they have been nerfed or something like that because I feel like I've just not been doing as much damage with them. I feel like before I used to absolutely complete shred with them. Now I've just lost damage. Uh, it feels it's weird. Next we have Arcane Energize. Really simple just for the energy. And we'll go through the weapons. So I use the Cuban New Core. I use the Corrosive version because I'm already going to have a viral build. And that reason why is because also we've got condition overload on our on our Cronum. So we also have condition overload on our Cronum. So having Corrosive and Radiation, that's two extra um, status that gives us builds and more damage on the Cronum. So here we've got Confusion for 90% efficiency. Now we don't really have to go with 60-60 mods because we also we have like 140 percent already status now we do have a 60 60 right here for the toxin one but that's because i wanted to get 100 percent i wanted to get more than 100 percent so next we have hornet strike we have hornet strike for just for damage very simple there lethal torrent for multi shot now it does give us fire rate don't really need fire rate but want multi shot on there barrel diffusion for more multi shot sure shot for the status chance we have 
pistol present for the toxin, auger packed for the damage and for more shield and then we have stun speed for reload. Now this also does give us status chance so what if, if you do have a 60, a 100% one, so like here for example, you can also always just put this on if you want to because you have 110%, you'll get more corrosive, completely up to you, whatever. Chronum Prime, really, really good melee weapon and again, this we use the same build all the time, we have condition overload on here for basically loads of damage, so you'll be getting, we'll be getting a guaranteed slash and viral for sure, so that's 240% right there. Then add the Kuva Nucor, Radiation and Corrosive, that is another 240. So just tons of damage basically, we'll get tons of damage. So we've got Prime Reach on here for the range, Virulent Scourge for the Toxin and Status Chance. We have a Berserker for the Attack Speed, Blood Rush for Crit Chance, this is a mod that you definitely want to have on. More Crit Chance the better, because we get more, more damage. Healing Return so we can heal it as well. With Wisp, it don't really matter having Healing Return because you are going to be healing from your... Um, from your reservoirs, but, but I always use this building, it's actually just a really good build. So, if you want to have more damage on there, that is completely up to you. Weeping Wounds on here for status chance, another mod that you definitely need on here. And our last mod, a Vicious Frost for the cold, so we can get viral. And the operator that we did use is we use Zenoric. Now, the reason why I use Zenoric is just so we can get our energy back really easy. And with the energy pool, so energy pickups grant 50% additional energy over 5 seconds. So obviously picking up multiple energy orbs is just going to be really nice. And energy eyes and dash just basically gives us a nice amount of energy. Now what I always do, every time I always pick up an energy energy orb, I would always use the energy eyes and dash so we can get more energy as well. So we get the energy, energy pools and the energy eyes and dash above. So we're getting energy just really, really quick. So if you do, do need energy, energy definitely do that so that's basically been the video guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure you do drop a like and subscribe it'd be very much appreciated try and get 400 subs by the end of the year we're already at 300 and yeah let's just get there boys see you guys later peace out